Hi everybody, Wildside here again uh, with another video in the Building the Wildside uh, Simple Hot End series. Uh, we'll call this uh, part two. And in this video I will demonstrate um, how to drill out the uh, MIG welder tip. So it's necessary um, to drill these things out to three and a half millimeters, almost right up to the end. Um, the closer you can get the better. Uh, I try to get it to within one millimeter of the end and to do that I make a little flag with Kapton tape that approximates um, where the threshold would be. So basically if I'm touching the flag uh, that means I've probably gotten through and need to stop right away. <laughs> uh, it's still recoverable but uh, better not to get to that point. So shorter is better than nothing. Now instead of uh, putting my drill bit into the chuck I'm gonna put the MIG tip itself in there. Um, this is gonna seem a little tougher for me because I'm holding the phone to record this video in one hand. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah we'll get through this. Yeah maybe one day I'll get around to uh, actually printing something to hold my phone while I'm recording videos. But uh, anyway, so the MIG welder tip is securely in the drill press. And what I'm going to do next may seem a bit MacGyverish to some of us, but that's the way I roll. Um, I'm basically going to clamp my, uh, my drill bit into a pair of pliers. And then I'm going to secure those with a spring clamp. Allow me to demonstrate. Let's see if I can let go of that guy for a second. So yeah, so I've got these clamps here. And I'm basically just going to put that on so that I don't have to do all the tensioning myself. Put that right on the end. And uh, I do that because there's going to be quite a bit of torsional force there when I crank up this uh, drill press. Um, so the rest of the video will be me just drilling this thing out and uh, unless I can figure out how to edit things I may cut this down just so you can see the end result but here we go now the reason that I uh, do it this way is because this method creates a self-centering hole Alright, so then we'll just uh, start taking out material there and see how far we can get. It's important to go as slow as you can uh, because the copper is uh, really soft metal, especially when it heats up. So there you can see we're chewing through the metal now. It's changing color because it's getting hot.
we've got quite a ways to go. I won't bore you with uh, watching me drill for another five minutes. Um, in the next video I'll demonstrate uh, the end result and uh, I'll just keep going for now. Thanks for watching.